everybody. It's me, Miss Susan from the Crystal Lake Public Library. And I have a question for you. Have you been exercising at all? Going on a bike ride or a walk in your neighborhood? Or maybe even doing some strengthening exercises at your house? Well, today, Ro, I think, has a book about exercise. And do you know where Ro is? Where? Right, he's in his basket. Do you see his basket anywhere? <gasps> right there? Yes, that's Ro's basket. All right, so we need to wake up Ro and find out what book he found on exercise. Are you ready to wake up Ro with me? Good. So on the count of three, one, two, three. Where is Ro? Where is Ro? Here he is, here he is. Did you bring a story? You did, where is it? In the basket? Oh, time to read. Time to read. Well, hello there, Ro, and how are you today? You what? You've been getting a lot of exercise? Have you been lifting weights or using my rowing machine? Oh, you've been with Mabel. Mmm. I think you two have had a wonderful getting to know each other. Mm-hmm. You've been what? Bubbles. How is exercising with bubbles a thing? Oh, you saw. So, Mabel, my kitten, loves bubbles. She thinks they are just the best thing. And, and Ro is learning how to blow bubbles so Mabel can catch them. Oh, wow. So, you've been practicing all night long? Really? It's a lot of fun. I'm glad you're having fun with my cat, Mabel. Mm-hmm. So you what? Oh, you want to go back to sleep? Okay, I get it. Because you and Mabel are, are tasked to her catching bubbles tonight. Okay, sounds great. So, But we want to see the book. Remember, I was talking about exercise. You found a really good book? You did? Okay, let's find out what it is. Oh, this is a good book, bro. This is called, Sometimes Sometimes I Like to Curl Up in a Ball, and it is by Vicki Churchill. She's the author, and the illustrator is Charles Fuge. So this is a book about exercise? Ooh, with animals from Australia. Wow, that sounds fantastic. Oh, and my friends, oh, that's a great idea. So in this story, these animals are going to be doing lots of actions and different forms of exercise and things that you can do. And you want them to follow along? What a great idea. You're so thoughtful, Ro. So now you want to go back to sleep. Okay, okay, I'm going to put my book down and we're going to say goodbye to Ro. Bye-bye, Ro. Have a, yeah, you have a great sleep. Okay, we'll see you soon. Okay, so here, I'm going to put you back in here, your basket. Goodbye, Ro. Oh, careful, careful. Here we go. All right. I tell you, he loves those cats so much. All right, so I need my glasses so I can read the story to you. So here we go. Sometimes I like to curl up in a ball. Written by Vicki Churchill. Illustrated by Charles Fuchs. Any idea what kind of animal that is? Hmm. Well, I'll give you a hint. They're not from the United States. Remember, this is a book with animals from Australia. Hmm. He is called a wombat. You never heard of a wombat before? Well, you might have to look up what a wombat is to find out. But according to this picture, they're super cute. Sometimes I like to curl up in a ball so no one can see me 
because I am so small. Do you see some of his friends in this picture? What's this? Right, that's a sweet little mouse. There's a butterfly. How about over here? Right, that's a turtle. I first thought it was a snake. And then right here, there's a rabbit. And there's a little beetle. Sometimes I like to jump as high as I can to see how much noise I can make when I land. I bet you, you can jump up real high. Can I see? Wow, that was really high. Probably just as high as our wombat jumped. Sometimes I like to scream ever so loud. Not that I'm cross. I just like how it sounds. But I don't want you to scream right now, okay? He looks like he's having a lot of fun. You might wake up Ro. Sometimes I just like to walk round and round. I pigeon step, pigeon step, till I fall down. He probably got very dizzy. Oh, here we go. Sometimes I like to stand still as a tree and watch everyone rush around about me. Let me find out what are some of these animals doing here. They're running around. He's standing super still. What animal is this? Right, that's a koala bear. He looks like he's running super fast. How about this animal? Right, that's a rabbit. That's a frog. These are all pretty fast animals. I didn't think koalas were that fast, but according to this book, they are. And this little mouse is running fast. And that little mole is running fast. And who knew turtles could run so fast? But way up in the tree is another animal. Do you know what that is? Right, that is a bird. It is called a kookaburra. Can you say that with me? Kookaburra. It is a bird native to Australia. And kookaburras are known to laugh. Would you like to hear what a kookaburra sounds like. Isn't that crazy? That was a bird, that was a kookaburra laughing. I think I want a kookaburra from my backyard. Sometimes I like to poke out my tongue. Oh, I saw you do it. Huh. Or make funny faces. Now that can be fun. Can you make a silly face like what he is? Let me see. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, you want me to make a silly face? Okay. How was that? Was that good? Did it make you laugh? Good. Sometimes I like to get in a real mess with mud on my feet, my hands, and my chest. I think he is due for a nice bubbly tub at night. Get all that mud off. Sometimes I like to run ever so fast. I sometimes come first, but I sometimes come last. Exercising is awesome no matter what you do. It doesn't matter whether you're first or last. Just exercising is super important. But when the day ends and the sun starts to fall, then I do what I do best of all. I find somewhere soft, somewhere cozy, and small and that's where I 
like to curl up in a ball. The end. That was a great story about exercising and all of that. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I will be back again with another story that Ro has picked out for us. So make sure to check us out on our brand new website, our new CLPL.org website. It is beautiful with so many things that you can look at. You can download things from Hoopla. You can check out all the latest things that are on our calendar. And I miss you. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.